What is going on LEGO Investors? So today we're going to talk about a set that I am a big fan of, but I'm also not a big fan of. I absolutely love the minifigure that came with this set. I think it's one of the best minifigures of 2024. However, I'm just not a big fan of the set. Although this character is an iconic character in the Star Wars universe, I think this is just a bad investment and I'm not really a big fan of displaying this character. Or I should say, droid. So I made this video previously on this set, however, a lot of things have changed, and more so that the price might have gone down. So I'm going to give my thoughts and opinions on this set. I would absolutely love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Please comment down below. It will definitely help the channel and will help the community. And I really, really hope everyone is having a great weekend. I appreciate you watching this video. And if you like and subscribe, I definitely, definitely appreciate it. And shout out to everyone that comments. It goes a long way with these videos. So let's dive into it. Today we're going to talk about the R2-D2 set item number 75379. So yes, I made a video about this previously. However, people have been posting up on Facebook that they're picking them up at their Costco for $50. Now this isn't at every Costco. It appears it's one of those manager specials, but a lot of people have posted up. So if these are available at your Costco, there is a chance that you might see these go on sale for $50. So now I want to hear whether you will invest in this set at $50. To be half off, that is extremely awesome for this set because that's a comfortable price for me to pay. But on the flip side of that, it's very concerning that it is going half off at certain locations, specifically Costco. Costco is like the kiss of death for Lego sets sometimes. They just typically flood the market at lower prices, and majority of the sets that are available at Costco tend to not do the best. I'm probably going to make a dedicated video on more specifically about this, but that's just kind of what I've seen so far. So yeah, $99 at, or I should say at $50, will you buy this set? And if mine... If these came available at my Costco for fifty dollars, yeah, I would. I would probably, honestly, have to say I'd buy ten, and that would be more of like a gamble because you just don't know how long the the set is going to be out. But for fifty bucks, I think it's. I think it's a win. And assuming that we only get two years out of the set, I think there's a great chance that Darth Malak, which this is the minifigure that comes with the set, and obviously you get the R two D two right here. But Malik is the reason I'm buying the set. I'm not buying it for R2-D2. I think R2-D2 is a bad investment, even though he's such a great droid and an awesome character in the Star Wars movies and universe. We just have too many R2-D2 sets, and we've got the much larger one that's out right now, and then this one. Now, mind you, I do love the size of this R2-D2. I, I prefer this one compared to the bigger one, but I myself and many others are just buying it for Darth Malak. So Darth Malak has never been created before, and he was doing big numbers right when he came out, which we're going to take a look at in a second. So this is a part of the 25th anniversary set. Majority of these sets coming out come with a specific unique minifigure. And if you haven't seen my video on why I think these minifigures are safe now, check it out. I think there's a great chance that we're going to have this Darth Malak will remain unique. Now, I do think there's a potential that we might see some add-ons to this Darth Malak in the future. So Lego can sell it, but overall, I think we might be safe with this minifigure. Now, this is something that you have to come to terms with yourself, whether you think this is a safe or not. Just do your due diligence, and this is not financial advice, obviously. But I think all the issues with the Captain Rex might protect these minifigures, and I absolutely love this minifigure. So really quick, let's take a look at some other sets that have unique minifigures. So we got the Imperial Star Destroyer, Darth Maul Sith, Sith Infiltrator, the Boarding of Tamtiv 4, and, those, and then there's a few others. But overall, I like these 25th anniversary sets become, because they come with a unique box. So if we take a look really quick at the box, we've got the same uh, this this design style that a lot of people are a big fan of and it says you get the exclusive Darth Malak minifigure and then you get the 25th anniversary logo so this definitely helps these sets when they retire and that is great for investing now out of all the sets I probably want to say the R2-D2 set is the weakest and or maybe the Imperial Star Destroyer I'm probably going to more lean on R2-D2 and then the Imperial Star Destroyer but out of all the minifigures in these sets I probably want to say Malik is the best. Maybe the boarding of Tantive 4 might beat it, but I think Malik's going to come either first or second. So this set has 1,050 pieces at a price per piece of 
10 cents and then it comes with two minifigures. The value of the minifigures right now is $46.09. And obviously one of them are unique. So we got the R2-D2, which is pulling in $3.51. And then Darth Malik, with, which is coming in at a $42.58. Before people were selling them for like 60 bucks, people were breaking open the sets, parting out the set. And some of my subscribers have said that they made great money and just did a great job doing this and i i think when it comes down to it this is going to be a part out set like i said i don't think anyone's buying it for the r2d2 there's maybe two out of ten people might buy it for r2d2 but overall malik is the winner so let's take a look at some r2d2 sets so we can kind of compare how this one has done versus others or might do compared to others so we got the 2012 version which is uh, double the size 2127 pieces this one retail for 179 it's got a value of 226 so a little bit up there then we got the 2002 version retail for 20 value of 60 this one did well just because it's so old and then, then we got the magazine gift value of five dollars and 46 cents and then the c3po droid collector set retail for 40 got a value of 247 absolutely insane obviously a very old set then we got the 2021 version, which this is the much larger one, 2,314 pieces. This one retails for 240. I think just Lego just makes a very bad decision when they come out with a set that the other set, they've got a set out like that already. I just don't, I would love to know their logic behind that. But this set has not done the best. A lot of people thought it was going to do well at the beginning. But overall, investors have kind of turned away from it. And then we got the 2017 version, $23.03, and then ours. So overall, some of the R2s have done decent, but there's he's just not a big money puller. It's not like a Boba Fett. Even though I love R2, it's just it's not an investable character for me. And it sucks that Lego did include Malik in with him, especially at $100. But maybe on the flip side, it's great that they did include that in a $100 set because then the market won't be flooded with, say, if this included in a $40 set. I'd love to hear your logic on that. So let's take a look at Darth Malik, how he's doing right now. So we've got $45. Let's see, less than $49 here. $51.46. Arc Trooper 5s and Darth Malik, $83 bucks which is really really good and then 40 let's see 47 less than 54 here 45 less than 54 54 44 so anywhere from 40 to 60 bucks and that that's a really good price point and i would love to hear if you're buying these sets selling malik and then selling r2 are you are you earning a decent profit with that or are you may be making 20 to 30 bucks so now the big question is if this set was $50 at your Costco, would you buy it? My answer is probably going to be a yes. I, I think 50 would be insane for this because you could sell Malik for 50 and then part out the rest. You're, you could potentially make a 30 to $40 profit. And that is a win for me. A lot of people think that might not be enough, but that's a lot of money, especially when Lego investing. It, you can't, you know, you're, it struggles to double your money with Lego investing. We need to get out of that mindset that if you hold it forever, it's going to double and just go up in price. Those days are long gone. You need to accept smaller return. So I'm really hoping my Costco hits 50 bucks because that would be awesome. But I, I really want to hear whether you're a buyer at that. Do you think it would go below 50 in maybe a Black Friday sale? You And it's just there's there's too much of a risk right now because this set could be out for maybe four years. Lego Lego might keep this, these these 25th anniversary sets out for a very long time because people, they know that investors are investing heavily in these and they do not like investors. Investors steal money from them and essentially they want those people that buy from investors to come to them. So that's why they do these kind of tactics where they change dates, change retirements, re-release a set. These are all tactics and a lot of people say they're not doing that, but these this this is a business. Lego has to earn money and they're they view us as bad people and viewing you know essentially that we're stealing money from them i think we are helping them because we talk about these sets there's a there's a market for them they get so much publicity from it and it keeps lego alive but comment your thoughts and opinions down below it will definitely help the channel and will help the community but i hope everyone has a great weekend i appreciate you watching but as always please do your own research have some fun make some money video is not financial advice any statements made are my views and is for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice do your own research before making any financial investments